Hello everybody, I'm Marco D'Ambros. This is the second part how to do uh, the former in Bifrost and more specific uh, blend shape. So in the, in the first video, in the previous video, we uh, saw how to create a basic uh, blend shape. So with uh, one target and uh, blend value, etc, etc. So just like uh, this, so if you miss it, just go to watch it. I, I will do like a very, very quick summary. So we have our input mesh, target mesh and blend. We get the point A, point B create the delta between the two, uh, multiply this one for our blend value, sum again with our base position and set the point of our mesh. Uh, like I said before, point A, point B, our delta will be B minus A. Um, so this will be our vertex V1. Sorry for the bad writing and writing. Uh, we are going to our final position, it will be our point A plus V1 multiply by our blend attribute. Cool. So uh, now let's add some, uh, well, we'll still need some basic feature like um, the paint map. So let's create that one first. Uh, we need to create, a, well, we don't need really a real script, but some code will be useful. So we want to have our P1 shape, is correct? Yeah. So let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see better. So this one, the attribute will be weight. Actually, let's create the, the weight first. Um, so the same things before. Just to remember these. Um, so the weights are an array of float. Uh, uh, more precisely, is a float per point. So let's create the array for float, one dimension array plus. And like you see now, we have uh, the same icon than we saw here for point position. Connect. Sorry for that. Connect, and now we have our weight. Uh, maybe let's call weights. Okay. Does it already exist one? And wait, see. So, uh, wait. Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to create an attribute uh, in, on on our mesh uh, called well, in this case called wait type float, and you just remember to do to create as a multi because we want to have one per vertices. Second thing is we want to make these uh, attribute paintable. Just remember the attribute is for type. So in this case, our um, type will be the mesh. So this any of attribute weights, uh, what we see here, connect to the mesh that will call uh, will be paintable. And this type is multi-float. Like I say, multi-float is because we want to have a float or double, in this case, float um, per, per point, per vertices. So now, uh, then we create this attribute paintable. We can actually ready paint, but uh, let's connect first. You can connect kind of manually from here, but because we put it, we create it in this way, um, it would be annoying because you need, you need to go uh, element by element. You cannot do on the node editor. So uh, do it by script is the best way, or is the easy way at least. Um, so now everything is connected and we have here our uh, value. By the way, because this one is empty, because this one is empty, if we can connect it, we don't have any weight. So let's go to modify paint attribute tool. Let's go our attribute weight and just force one. So now we force to have every vertex is weight one. Uh, let's try to weight someone on zero, whatever. So this one here, for example. So the things we have to do now, we have our vector V1, and before to go to multiply with the blend, we want to multiply by his weight, the vertex weight. And because this one is, a, is an array, when we do like this, we know then we is going to multiply element by element in the right order. And that's it actually. So um, let's, Let's create, uh, let's animate it though. So let's create a cube. Here you go. Attribute, add attribute, blend. 
it's a float it's cool so now we can connect this blend with our blend uh, let's create an animation from frame 40 would be one that would be zero to 80 or whatever then it's one cool actually let's clean up a little bit so this is our bypass shape so let's create a by frost and we do it red red this is our maya this will go blue and this is our target tag well in the future will be target so let's um, what I want it's like to green cool so it's a little bit nicer to, to see uh, actually let's create even like a, a proper band shape so um, uh, one two the former blend shape so this is the Maya one so we can see some differences uh, when we so let's select this one yep uh, so we want to have our blend connect to the weight okay of course now because the value are the same let's create something for that as well so this will be our blend shape and uh, yellow cool so now we can see uh, the vertices with the different weights and everything looks amazing um, cool and that is the first thing so let's uh, force back to everything to one did I select I did not sorry I did not select the, the right one okay so now you see everything is moving but one of the th first things like Maya what does it do it's create a linear interpolation from point A point point B uh, let's create something a little bit more dynamic or actually something a little bit more um, different or give us some some option um, so instead to connect directly our blend to our um, let's, let's call it so this will be our weight multi and this will be our blend multi um, let's add a different type of interpolation so we can create a node like uh, it's called f curve evaluate f curve this one will allow us to do is to have a curve here and um, we can and the value then is uh, going here will be the um, x value of our curve and the, re the result will be our y so let's select b to x and now we're going to replace blend here so if you see now nothing will change because it's absolutely the same but now we have the option to Add, add and modify our interpolation map uh, sorry my our interpolation uh, blend and you can see now we have let's go some bigger difference though here you go so if you see now we have a different type of um, uh, interpolation between point a uh, of the blend point a point b uh, let's clean up if you want you can change like the curvature and the speed etc etc et so with this one you, you can you can already see like well, how easy it is to um, add some new, new functionality and make it really make some differences like we can already now interpolate them in a two different way um, so let's still working with the with the blend value uh, but let's create a, like a delay map so what is what I mean for the delay map. The delay map is mean we want to give like a different starting point. It is actually works even for endpoint. Uh, I just I just do the only the starting point, just an example, so you can go crazy on your own. Um, so we want to have a different starting point. So at the moment, every point they start to one, they start to zero and and end to one, uh, all linear, etc., etc. But we want to have every vertex work a little bit different. That is to give a little bit more uh, dynamics on the mesh. Instead to have all the vertex move at the same times, we create this uh, sort of offset and delay between the vertices and give like a little bit more uh, dynamic of um, on the deformer. And it's, a, it's an easy implementation. It's a simple ideas and already make the differences on your final result. So to do so, we need still need to create another, another, another map because we want to work per vertices. So 
we call remote uh, we call, call delay delay let's call it delay right um now we need to create value delay same same before so nothing really different here so now if we check we have our delay value delay value here connected there um etc 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 so let's first 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 of all let's wait it so uh, these are our weights let's change the in remap oh no we say delay sorry delay first one and just an example let's let's do zero five it's a little bit higher let's paint this vertex on zero five um now we want to start every value so this is the value of our starting point so every value every vertex it will start at zero and this one on around zero five okay so what we want to do now the simple so what we want to do we want to do create a node like uh, the set range in maya this is called change range but it's the same things we are going to connect our evaluate here and connect to the blend there we go. so we want to start from zero one finish to zero and one so now if we do nothing change and actually if you want to see some example on the static one we can change the one 05 and you can see now our our blend shape will not start until touched 05 value of the blend and after that to come back so our final mesh will be always the same it's just when it started this change uh, and that's it so the the next things we want to do we want to connect the delay so notice here this is a single value because we just given as an input a single value and return a single value let's see what's happened when i just connect the delay from start so now this is change uh is an array and we're going to multiply here array by array and so on so probably you can see better on the pers perspective view so our right vertex because it's way to zero i can show you actually um, it's it's started on the same time let's add for example 0 0.1 see 